Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. And apparently whenever you went, uh, I saved and quit and then loaded back in and started talking to the King of Red Lions immediately. Oh, look at that, that look in your eye. So, you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb aboard. Hoist the sail you've got with A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The up arrow, the, the, the arrow that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use the left stick to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly into the sail. You can always press B to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? Yes, I did. Ah, one more thing. When you are out at sea with... Uh, with few landmarks to go by, you will beat, uh, be at the mercy of your sea chart. I have marked the place we should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you get l lost at sea, select map displayed on the Wii U gamepad or on, on the menu. To open your sea chart, you can also pause the game with plus and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let's let it carry us to the east. So let's do that. We can also hold down ZR to cruise, which allows us to just move slightly forward slowly. But let's actually set sail and let's follow the wind, basically, because we need to go in this direction. Especially if we actually look at the map, we can see a little marker here. But while we're on the map, we can also see that we have the map of Windfall Island and the map for the Forsaken Fortress, but also the, the Forsaken Fortress is here in the top left, and Outset Island, where we started, which we also have the map for, is way down here. That was quite a trip that we made to get all the way up there on, on the pirate ship, but also to get over here by being flung and then cruising, I guess, on the King of Red Lions. We also have the chart that Tingle gave us, which we can open, and we can see it aligns with our own map, but also has a few extra things on it. Especially the tingle looking thing with the sun around it and an arrow pointing to it. But yeah, we'll have to keep a looking at that. But for now, let's just sail in this direction. Fairly simple. We also have a compass on the bottom left and a thing that tells us what the time is, I guess. So we can actually see when we return which way we're going towards. And I guess the the sun will probably change at some point to show us where we're going. But anyway, I believe there's a few things that we can do along the way. We can also press uh, ZR while we're sailing to jump, which is a little bit weird, but possible apparently. And we can, yeah, go c collecting, uh, we can collect, words are hard right now. Rupees as we're sailing as long as they appear in barrels and if you go between the barrels they'll start spawning I believe so But there's also a few things that, that just float at sea that we can need to go check out as well Like this raft over here and also that What that lookout over there? So let's oh stop 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 and get out. Nope stop <laughs> get out B button not the a button and let's take out this guy. We've seen these guys before they were at the Forsaken Fortress, but now, taking it out without knocking it off in the water, we might actually get a little reward. Possibly? Maybe. That's the reason I'm here, is for getting an item from it, if it drops it. Which it, I think it did. This is an orb that will drop from enemies. Uh, it's just a random chance of it dropping from any enemy. But it's a guaranteed chance of their special item that they drop, and some rupees hearts, whatever you need basically, that you can recollect. But we got a special item, which is a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies, to nectar filled blossoms. So yeah, we have that now in our... no, wrong one. In our spoils bag. So we can actually set that to the um, X, but we want to be collecting those as we go through our journey. 
And the goblins just happen to be a good source of them, so... But anyway, back in our boat, and let's head, out, head over to that lookout over there. I believe there's also a few other tricks that we can do, like... Um... Like pressing an item button while we're sailing to just instantly stop. There'll become better ways to do that later on, other than just using the, the telescope, but that's all we have for now, so let's just use it to our advantage. And let's get up this lookout to see what's up here. Sometimes lookouts will have cannons on them shooting at you, so you need to be careful when sailing around them or swimming around them. But anyway, we have some more cobblins here. I think that's what they are. I could be wrong. Oh, don't fall off the edge. Oh, no. Oh, that's a shame. I don't know if I... I don't... Yeah, if, I think if an enemy falls in the water, they don't drop anything. So we need to be careful which direct... Uh, which angles we hit them with. It's also interesting that these ones have telescopes. Like we do. But anyway. For defeating both of those, we get a treasure chest as well. That's uh, the other thing that we need to check uh, outposts for. Or the lookouts. Whatever you want to call them. Just going to break these pots even though I don't need to. for Just because I want more rupees, I guess. Even though I'm going to probably run out of space for rupees at some point. But hey, we got a red rupee. That's 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. Now, I actually feel like I made a mistake by not going over that way. I might still be able to go over that way, maybe. Oh, and also Beetle ship is there. Beetle actually roams around the world. Uh, depending on where he is on the special I islands, he'll actually have different stuff in his stock, I believe. Um, but I guess for now, let's see if I can go this way. It's not going to go very fast, so I might actually just come back to that later. And for now, let's just keep on track. There's another raft over here that we can go check out. Also, the, the sun icon changed, so the time is actually passing now. I don't know why it was just a sun earlier, but anyway. Let's put that away and get out. And let's see if we can get another joy pendant from this guy. Oh, nope. Nope, not getting a joy pendant from that guy this time. That's a shame. But there'll be plenty of other ways to get joy pendants as we go on. Okay, that should be all the stops. Let's actually arrive at our destination now. Once we actually get close enough. I love the sailing in this game, it's so nice. Especially when you're trying to navigate yourself around and not just following the story. Because that's all we can really do at the moment is follow the story. But later on when we can explore the whole sea, it's just a good time to just, ex just, just to sail and navigate your way around. Right. There, on the horizon. It's, it's a little bit closer than that. That is our destination link, Dragon Roost Island. High atop this island's peak lives the Spirit of the Skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. You must go see this dragon and, and request from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inherit, inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is the, a baton of sorts that was used a long ago when the people played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed the one to borrow the power of the gods. But I do not know how it... I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. First, conduct in 3-4 time. Do not touch left stick. Just try to match the rhythm by tilting the right stick up, down, and right. Just a little preview. And now we just copy that. Very nice. That was splendid. Next is 4-4 four, four time. Common time. 
Hold left stick to the left to change the rhythm. Then match the rhythm and tilt right stick up, right, left, then and then down. No, come down. We can also... We can also change the the rhythm to and back and forth so that it clears what we've already put in. Just to make sure we get it correct. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. You can also conduct with it in 6-4 time by tilting to the, the right. You would do well to remember that. You received the legendary Wind Waker by using this magical conductor's baton. You can borrow the power of the gods. Use right stick to conduct. Don't tilt left to conduct in 3-4 time. Hold left stick to the left to conduct in 4-4 time. Hold left stick to the right to conduct in 6-4 time. Interesting. It, it, it all makes sense. It's pretty cool, actually. Danger! Do not attack the explosive fruit! Well, if you say so. So yeah, we can stab these bombs and then they will start to explode and then will explode shortly after. Ha! Ah! Oh, it fell in the water. If it falls in the water, it just disappears, just like an enemy. But we can use these bombs by picking them up and then throwing them at what we want to blow up to blow it up. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh my goodness, this poor sign. But anyway, oh, Rupee, Rupee, got it. <laughs> I probably don't need that rupee, but still. But anyway, I don't think I can take these bombs any further up without exploding myself. So let's just be a little bit more careful. Just throw that up there. Clear some more path. Um, and the beetle will be sailing around this area. Up. Something up there. That we can't actually do anything with right now. But there's a string of bombs up there, so... I like the concept of the bomb flowers. But anyway, let's blow that up. Now, I feel like... Is there another bomb up here? Yes, there is. Mail center. This way. Well, the bridge is out, so we can't take that. But we can take this bomb up here very carefully and put that up there. We can also place it down by pressing... Uh, ZR, of course. Just like everything else that we can put down. But now let's sail across here to the other side, which will allow us to continue to the mail center. Go, Link, go. He's, he's going. Very nice. Grab that rupee. We have a lot of space for rupees, apparently. Ah, the bum bum I am lucky to have not fallen off. Okay, let's try that again. Let me actually place it this time. There we go. That's going to work a lot better. But by blowing up that rock, we drop these blocks down. And from the shore, it's actually connected to here. But this allows us to use uh, A to grab and pull this out, giving us a shortcut. So we don't have to do any of that again, except the, the bombs won't be there any, or the rocks won't be there anymore anyway, so. But it's nice to have a shortcut, n n nevertheless, so. Link? Link, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you tr you've traveled far for that one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us Rita are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Eerie. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. Man, I love Dragon Roost Island's song. It's so good. Anyway, we found the Rito, and they can also see a few other things around this island that we'll have to take a look at at some point. But for now, let's go in.
Well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Blue's anger? Ah, so you are Link, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are prof profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he, mu he or she must <sighs> journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that en enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once gentle Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life may be will be th threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant, gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son Kamali is of age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways, and in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible, so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish to give you, give, give to my son. I, I wish to, for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. Here, Link, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. You got a delivery bag. Finely crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postman everywhere. With so many pockets it can hold many items. It's a lot like the spoils bag and the other one. I can't remember what it's called. But anyway. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great Valu to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Okay then, I don't know what I should do right now, but I'm gonna try... ...going this way, just for starting. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? What do you want from me, huh? I I don't want to talk about to talk to anyone right now. Okay, then I'll leave. If that's what you want. I mean, I can understand wanting to have your own space and all, but still, you could just talk to me a little bit more. Well, so you're very calm about just a random person walking into a room. But anyway, I believe we need to go over here. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a, a, a strange shaped hat. You're Link, aren't you? Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. 
Well, to tell the truth, I am not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the Chieftain. Link, he wants you to give this to directly to Prince Kamali. You accepted father's letter. It is a letter from a father addressed to his son. Since you just received a fine delivery bag, why not use it to carry this letter down to Kamali? When you want to take it out, choose it to... Yeah, it's, you, you should know by now. It's, it's the spoils bag, other bag thing. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go uh, down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen Link. I have a small favour I'd like to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. Okay. Suspicious meetings. It's fine. I approve of suspicious meetings. But anyway, we need to go back down here now. Now, do you have anything more to say? Or do I need to just... Okay. Let's get out the letter. If I can figure out where my thing is. Excuse you? Excuse you, where's my... Where's my... Oh, what? Okay. Now we should be fine. That was weird. I couldn't get the thing on the screen. Uh, bait bag. That's the other one. But anyway, let's equip the ladder to X. Target and press X again. A letter? From my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he ha he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Velu. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What? Are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh! That's just a big, fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Okay. He has some issues, but also he's had a bad experience with Valu raging. But still, <laughs> he's... He, wow. Just... Well, so he doesn't seem very energetic, but he's... The way he speaks sounds very passionate, I guess, is the word I'm going to go for. I don't know where I'm going. It's probably fine. Uh, I think, though, I can go back here. And this isn't where I need to go, but I can look around from up here. At the very least. I guess it's to be expected in his heart. In, in, in this heat. But just take a look down there. Dragon Roost Pond is completely dried up. It's crazy. So that's not the way to go. I think we actually need to go back downstairs, so I went the wrong way. Because I think we need to go through here. If you want to get to Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news for you. The bridge is out. There's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you will understand once you've seen it for yourself. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that, and the pond's all dried up. No need to panic, though. I'm sure the chieftain will think of something. I think this is where we need to be. There's Medley. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for br bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by be a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then came... Uh, but then the great Valu... He became so angry and... 
In his rage, he shook this, the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the, the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn of that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Falu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Falu. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd possessed some of her strength. I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry to ask this, uh, but I need your help. I want to go to the the, sh the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that's that ledge over there is too high. If I could get some wind under my under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Sure. Phew. Thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric uh, currents are really messed up, so p pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Okay, pick you up and throw. I might want to be slightly closer when I throw you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Medley. I'm, f I'm fine. That re didn't really hurt. What was I saying? Oh yeah, once, once more, with the wind, toss away, please. <laughs> it's actually really funny. Okay... Wait for the wind to move its direction in the right direction. And... And... Go! Um, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Please. Please. Maybe I need to be further away? I don't know. Wait for the wind. So go in the right direction. Okay, go. Why? <laughs> Why? Although maybe I need to go up on that little ledge thing. Hang on. I'm gonna go over here and see if this helps at all. Okay, go. There we go. Oh, thank you. I think now I'll be able to climb dra Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Falu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just, I may be just an apprentice attend attendant. But I understand some of the Great Falu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after the Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. You got an empty bottle! Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Okay. So now that we have this empty bottle, conveniently we can actually use it. Immediately. So let's grab some water from the spring here. You filled your bottle with water. Try pouring it on something that looks dry and withered. It could not be more obvious what you need to do. I guess maybe it could be. But it's, it's still fairly, fairly obvious what we need to do. Fairly simple. It's it, it's t telling us by needing to carry water and something that looks dry and withered. But hey, these things look dry and withered, I guess. So let's pour some water on it. And it turns out these are actually just bomb flowers that have withered. Which means we can throw this bomb over there. Unclogging the spring. So there we go, now that the water's risen up, 
we can actually go across now. Because luckily the bridge is here and allows us to climb it up. Climb up it, just like on the other side. But there we go. Now we can start heading after Medley to see if we can help. So let's throw a bomb into the hole there of the statue. Knocking it down. And then go to the other one. Do the same. Because we need to get across that lava somehow. And if you fall in the lava, it will uh, put you back onto land. But you will take damage. And it can be very annoying to have it move you back a bit. There we go. First try. I missed so many times just then. But anyway, let's head on in. Dragon Roost Cavern, which has music very similar, extremely similar, to uh, Dodongo's Cavern. Which is actually really cool to me. Because Ocarina of Time is cool. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.